This is a chest press machine. A chest press machine is basically working your pectoralis major muscles, your deltoids, and your triceps. First thing you do when you get in is you want to adjust the weight that you feel is proper for you. you Putting this little dial in. You take your feet, press down on this. This will bring the handles up to you. Okay? You get a lower grip or a higher grip, depending on which aspect of the pectoral that you want to address. If you want to do the lower side, which is more lift right here, then you want to grab the, the lower handles. If you want to get a higher bulge up here in your pectoralis, you want to grab right here. Grab the handles, take your feet off, and then you're pushing forward. Bring it all the way back as far as you can, push forward. The difference between doing this and a bench press is because I'm in a machine Basically what is happening is, is I am isolating these muscles. The machine is doing all the balance and all the stabilization for me. When a bench press would actually be using my arms to do the stabilization. When you're ready to get out, put your feet on the lever, remove your arms, and just lower it down. This is a shoulder press machine. Shoulder press machine is going to address three groups of muscles for the most part. First, it's going to be your deltoids or your shoulder muscles. You have three parts, which is the head, you have the anterior, and then you have basically what's, I guess, the back deltoids. This exercise really addresses the anterior or the front. It also addresses the triceps because you're extending your arms out and third uh, group of muscles is your lats, or basically your back muscles. The muscles that kind of go down like this in your back. First thing you're going to do is you're going to put the right amount of weight, reach under here and grab like this. You're going to push up. Okay. Now, the great thing about these machines is, is they are adjustable. So by pulling this thing out and pulling this, Getting it to lock. I can now pull this out. Now I have a more comfortable push up. And that's your shoulder press machine. This is a leg curl machine. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in and make sure that the extension in the back fits to where my uh, calves are basically sitting right underneath that bar. Then I'm gonna lay my hips across this to where I put my chest down this angle. There are handles right here to grab. And then I'm gonna adjust the weight accordingly. 60 pounds on here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my legs upwards. This is going to work my hamstrings, which is the back of my thighs, and my rear end, or glutes. And that's the leg curl machine. This is the leg extension machine, which is basically the opposite of the leg curl machine. I'm going to get in here, bend my knees in, and I want to put my shins against the pad. I want to sit back, nice and tuck. I'm going to adjust the weight. And then all I'm going to do is using my thighs, I'm going to extend my legs out. It's a really good exercise to build the strength in your thighs and give you good strength in your knees. And that is the leg extension. This is a incline bench press. This is a little bit different because you're actually going to use a barbell as opposed to dumbbells. What this does is this works the upper clavicular head of your pectoralis muscles or basically the top part your anterior deltoids or the front of your shoulder and your triceps because remember we're extending our arms 
So we're basically using this part. What you're gonna do, sit in the seat, lean back. When you put your weight on, you're gonna come in here and you're gonna grab. Now, there's two lines on the barbell that give you a great guide as to where the even amount of weight is. You're gonna grab right there, lift up, lower down, and push up. Lower down, and push up. Now it's important that you don't bring it all the way down and bounce it off of your chest. Lots of people have gotten injured by doing this. You wanna bring it down as close as you can to your chest and then push it back up. Place it back in. It is highly recommended that you have somebody stand behind you and spot you when you're doing an incline or a bench press. This has been the incline bench press. This is a seated calf raise machine. This is probably one of those machines in here that everybody walks by and looks at but is so unsure what to do with. But it's actually really easy and it's very effective for building up what's known as your gastrocnemius muscles or your calf muscles. I don't know where the name calf comes from or why it got called that. but. These are your calves. These are really good for your jumping, um, to have those nice legs to walk on the beach with. But what you're gonna do is you're going to adjust this right here. You find a great height for you. And then you're gonna put your toes on the edge of this metal plate down here. I'm gonna lower this down just a little bit. Further. Okay, now. I'm gonna lift up with my calves. Notice this part gets loose. And I'm gonna slide this out of the way. Now, lower the weight up and down by using just your calf muscles. Okay, just like that. You can hold on. If you've got a lot of weight on there and you're having a little bit of trouble getting it back up, you can hold on and pull it back up like this. And then all you do when you're ready is you just pull this lever back right in lower it down and that's been your seated cap raise this is the leg press machine now this one is very intense for working out your hamstrings your thighs even your calves basically your whole lower body you want to get seated nice in with your back good posture against the back because you always want your hips and your shoulders and your ears in line with one another and you put your feet on there now you can do this several ways one way is to put your feet up in here just like this flat okay now depending on if you put it like this you get more outside of your thighs and hamstrings you put it inside you get a little bit more of the inside so depending on where you place your feet is where you're going to get the most effect depending on what muscle you're trying to locate you can also put just your toes on here and use it as just a calf raise as well but for the leg press, we're gonna put them just like this. This machine has two forms of safety for you. First one is this, okay? I'm gonna push out all the way, okay? Grabbing these black handles right here, push that out like that, and now it's free to come down. Now, I wanna come down as far as I can without hurting myself, and then I wanna extend all the way back out. Okay, all the way back out. Okay, now, this right here, if I put my toes on this, now I've got a seated calf raise that I can do as well. Bring it back down, grab your handles, put them back in, and there you go. Now, if you're putting an awful lot of weight on there and you're nervous about certain things, you can take these two pegs right here, pull them out, move them up a little bit. Now, I get out, pull the safeties. Now I get down this far and I don't think I can get it back up. I've got these safety things I can pull myself up. So, Safety, leg extension, and a seated calf raise, all in one machine. This has been the leg press machine.
This is a squat machine. There's two different ways that you can do this, depending on what kind of results that you want to get. Now, if I get in here like this, and I put my shoulders into the machine like this, or like this, okay? I'm going to lift up, okay? Now, notice that this thing between my legs came up. So now, I'm able to squat down using my thighs, my calves, and my glutes, and squat. You want to squat as far down as you can without hurting yourself. As soon as I'm done, take this down, press it down, and then it comes into position. Now the other way, I can get in there like this, okay? I can do a leg extension like this. Same thing, as far down as you can without hurting yourself. When I'm ready to lit out, push down on this, sit squarely down. That's been your squat machine. This is a pectoralis fly slash deltoid machine. It's used two different ways. The first way we're gonna use it is to address our deltoids, or our back and shoulders, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna seat in here right here, I have my weight adjusted, grab these handles, and notice how they spin. And I'm just going to pull outwards like this. Okay. And you want to basically pull them out to where you feel your shoulder blades pinch together. That's how you know it's working. And you're getting all these muscles here at the top of your shoulders to pinch. That's what that deltoid is doing. Now, what we do for the pec fly machine, we take these things right here, adjust them to where we want. Okay. And I'm going to sit in it the other way. I'm going to grab these angles again. Now I'm going to clap my hands together. Okay, that is going to be working my pectoralis major muscles, or my chest muscles. I can also do it a little bit halfway. Sit back in here again. Now I'm really getting a lot more shoulder with my chest muscles for this pec fly. So depending on where you put these arms is how much muscle you can use and how much muscle you can work in the pec fly. So this has been the pec fly slash deltoid machine. This is an assisted dip slash chin up pull up machine. Now, the way it works is it's basically a counterbalance to what your weight is. So Let's say I weigh 170 pounds. When I reach down here and I put this on 100, basically it's counterbalancing 100 pounds of my weight and I'm only using 70 pounds of my body weight to lift up and down. So I climb up in and I put my knees on the pad. Now, by putting my hands on this bar and lowering myself down, I'm getting a dip, which is using my pectoralis muscles and my tricep muscles. This is the back of the arms, okay? That's an assisted dip. Now I'll take my foot off, grab these handles. I can grab these handles in several different ways, or several different ways, I'm sorry. Wide, narrow, under, or I'm going forward like this. So if I do this, 
I'm doing a wide chin up, which is really pulling on my shoulders, okay? I pull it in like this, narrow. Now, I'm getting more of the front of my shoulders and the back, not as much as my top. I pull under like this. Now, I'm getting a bicep exercise and a chest exercise. And by doing forward grips like this, now, I'm getting a back and tricep exercise. So this forward grip right here is more like a seated row, which we're gonna get into soon. But this has been the assisted dip slash chin up pull up machine. Now this is a seated row machine. Now notice that I'm sitting way far back. Obviously, someone with very long arms sat here before me. So all I have to do is grab this little chain right here, push it forward till I find the spot that I'm comfortable with, put it back in, slide myself forward. I'm going to place my feet on these pads right here. I can also adjust my seat if I need to. I can grab in one of three ways. This way is a traditional row. I'm gonna adjust my weight. And what I do is I grab here and I'm gonna pull towards my chest. Okay? This is working my triceps, my back and shoulders. You wanna feel your shoulder blades pinching together. Okay? Now, you can also grab like this, pull it. Now, I'm still working my triceps, still working my back and shoulders, but I'm also getting a little bit of my, uh, my biceps in there as well. Okay. Now I can also turn my hands over like this. Now when I do it, now I'm getting a good bicep workout as well. So there's several different ways that I can do this seated row as well. But the main muscles and the majority of the muscles that you're going to be working are your triceps and your back and shoulders. This has been the seated row machine.